Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we have a bit of a weird video for me um, and a little bit of an original video in terms of like fitness content but I wanted to explain a little bit around it because I do feel like it's a little bit contradictory of me to be doing one but today is going to be a full day of eating and I feel like that is a little bit contradictory to be focusing on calories and things like that obviously because with time to grow time to grow is a series documenting muscle growth but also recovery from an eating disorder and body dysmorphia but i have actually just been curious as to how much i'm eating at the minute in terms of calories i mentioned i think it was in last week's time to grow that i have been tracking my protein on and off just to make sure that i'm hitting it and alongside that I have seen some calories. I haven't really focused on it. I haven't really looked at it on purpose. I've just seen it whilst I've been looking at my protein. And I'm kind of just curious. I'm not going to go back to tracking full, like, full days anytime soon. I'm not bothered. Like, I do feel like I'm doing really well in that capacity where I'm not interested in knowing my calories at the minute. And I feel like that's the healthy way to be. And that's how I should be for recovery. So I'm happy not knowing, but I think I'm actually in an okay place to know. Like, I don't think it'll affect me that much. I am in a good place at the minute. So I feel like I am able to do this, to figure out how many calories I'm eating. So today is literally going to be a very, like, intuitive eating kind of thing. I pretty much know what I need to eat to hit my protein and that is the only macro I'm interested in hitting I'm not bothered about calories unless I'm under a lot but I'm pretty confident I'm not under a lot but I'm not interested about calories I'm not interested about carbs I'm not interested about fats because they don't really matter in terms of muscle growth protein and calories are the only thing that matter but I know I'm eating enough calories to be putting on muscles so yeah we're doing a full day of eating, which is crazy. I think I might have put the calories in the title just so you guys know. So you guys know before me, but I'm gonna be figuring out as we go along. So I'm starting now, as you can see, it's probably, you can probably tell by my face in the morning. I got very puffy eyes. I really like it. I wish I could keep this look the entire day. I like it when my eyes look a little bit puffy. Jack's outside, sorry, I'm leaning on the door. So we are starting off the day with chocolate. Uh, the reason that I start off with chocolate, I don't do this every day. Basically, if I wake up hungry, I will eat. Because that is one of the things that I wasn't very good at in my eating disorder. So, if I wake up hungry, I will eat. If not, I don't eat. Because I go straight to the gym pretty much from waking up. So, I don't want anything on my stomach. I don't like anything on my stomach. I don't even like drinks on my stomach. Like, I love... As we have established, if you are a subscriber, I love rain pro protein shakes, energy drinks, but I can't even stomach one of them when I'm going to the gym because it just sits on my tummy too much. Chocolate is the only thing I've found so far that doesn't sit on my tummy and make me feel sick when I'm training, essentially. The little PhD Smart Protein Bars were cutting it for a little while, but that's if I sat for a little bit before I go to the gym, and I don't want to have to sit before I go to the gym. So chocolate is the way to go and there's nothing bad about it so i'm i'm eating some chocolate so that is going to be it until i come back from the gym so i'm going to bring you along to the gym we're not going to i'm not going to show you the full workout but i might do a little bit of a time lapse so i'm going to eat this and then head off okay i've just pulled up to the gym or the car park to the gym i am feeling knackered we had like the busiest weekend we've had since we think before covid apart from traveling like if you don't include gdansk and stuff because obviously they were very very busy weekends but in terms of just like plans of like in the local area we think that's the busiest weekend we've had since before covid like we went out for a meal with people on friday and then we were with friends on saturday morning at the gym and out for lunch then we had about three hours well we had more than that because our friends were late but we had our friends over at head shop uh, which is our caravan and they were there until five o'clock on sunday and then um, we didn't get to bed till late like both nights and i am knackered like 
I'm knackered. Jack is also knackered, so I don't feel as bad. And Gary and Deborah are best friends. I've also texted and they are also tired. So I need these caffeine tablets. So, like I mentioned, I don't have the energy drinks to give me caffeine. And obviously, caffeine is a very, very good for training. It is, if you saw the supplement haul, I mentioned it in there, but it is one of the very few things that have been proven in research to effectively affect training. <laughs> that didn't sound correct whatsoever. I can't find the old ones. Where are the new ones? Okay, I can't find the new Brandon ones. I did put them in my gym bag. If you want to see the new Brandon from my protein, you're going to have to go watch the supplement haul. But I'm finishing off some of my old ones. I've got like a few left in there, can you see? So I take caffeine tablets. These are 200 meg. I think they're 200 meg. Yeah, they are. They're 200 meg. I take these because I need caffeine and I don't like having energy drinks. And I hate coffee. So... I take one of these. They don't have any calories in. I've also realised I need to track the chocolate. I'm not in the habit of tracking anymore. I'll do that when I get to into the gym. I always take these in the car because my memory is shocking. And I always get in there and be like, have I took the tablet? Do I need to take the tablet? And once, I'm worried I took two because I felt very, very ill. Um, so... I'm taking one in the car because that's the habit I've got new, so I can always say, no, I took it in the car. So, yeah, I'm going to go in. I've realised I forgot my tripod. I think, I don't think it's in here. So, we might have some weird angles for the time lapse, but we're just going to roll with it. And you just, uh, I'll try and make the time lapse good, but I'm sorry if it isn't. So, we're going to go and train. We are training up our body. Uh, yeah, let's go. back in the car i'm crying because i got a parking ticket <laughs> it's one of these stupid car parks where you've got to put your, the disc out and i obviously have one i put it out every day every single day i'm here pretty much every single day and the one day i've forgot they came around it gave me a parking ticket and i've got no money <laughs> anyway the workout was good um I always feel a little bit self-conscious in this outfit, right? Like, because it's it's like the it's the Boo and T one, this one, um, and it's like it's I don't know how to describe the material. It's like thick but thin, in terms of it's a thick, lovely, soft material. Like it is buttery soft, and but it's like very figure hugging in terms of it it sticks to everywhere. So it's kind of just like. I don't know how to describe it. It was like Gymshark. You get like a bit of shaping because it's maybe it's because it's tight. Maybe like that's it. This has a lot of elastic in, so it doesn't really pull you in anywhere. Whereas like Gymshark pulls you in and gives you like a little bit more of a waist and things like that. Whereas this, it's essentially like you're naked. And the bra is a bit like thicker than I like it. So I always feel a bit self conscious in this set but someone came up to me at the gym and told me i looked really good in it and they really liked that set and they wish i had the confidence to do it and it made me feel really really happy but i said to them i was like honestly i feel really self-conscious in this but it's just you gotta push through it you just gotta wear the colors like nobody cares like nobody cares if you wear the colors like you are the only person that it matters to and if you want to wear the colors you wear the colors like it does not matter how you look at the gym it, i know it's very easy for me to say that but i just want to kind of give you a little bit of a pep talk like wear what you want to wear at the gym it does not matter how you look as long as you are comfortable that is fine and if you are happy for wearing those colors like that is what is important so if you want to wear colors like this at the gym please just do it i'm not confident in it I just wear it and then she was like oh I wish I was that confident wear those colors and I was like babe it's it, it's all an act like like 
please just wear the colours and the only way you're going to get comfortable with it is wearing it because I'm like that, I don't wear these colours a lot but I make myself wear them even though I don't feel like that confident in it because I feel like the only way to get the confidence is to wear them and then someone complimented me so yeah please wear what you want, want to the gym and you've got it like it doesn't matter how you look honestly it doesn't matter how you look and the more you think like that the more you'll believe it so please please tell yourself every single day that your body is beautiful your body is beautiful how it looks right now not for how it's gonna look and you can wear whatever the heck you want to the gym anyway there's my little rant it stopped me crying so i feel like that was effective uh, but yeah i'm gonna go home and have lunch and i also have a protein shake but i'll tell you more about that when i get home back home with jack uh, i've started making my lunch i'll just show you quickly before i put them in so i've got um three eggs boiling i do it where i want one more runny than the rest so i put two in for one minute and then another one in and then they're in for six minutes i put them in when the water is boiling and um, we have two sausages going in it looks ridiculous because i've run out of tin foil but i'm just gonna have to put them in so these are two turkey sausages i'll put them in and then explain what else i do okay so with this I make if you if you if you're a subscriber you'll know what I'm having for my lunch because I have the same thing every bloody day. Uh, alongside it, I make a salad. So I'll get stuff out. I have sweet corn and then cucumber. The olives I don't have any olives left. Nah, I don't want gherkins in the salad. Then apple. Did I finish on my apple? Could I swear I put apple in here? Alright, okay. Um, I have apple, which I know some people find weird, but I like it. Uh, I've Granny Smith apples, and then also, like I say, I normally have olives as well. I have this, which is salad topper, which is like grains and peas and what they're called, seeds and stuff like that. Uh, just because it adds a little bit more protein, because it's got peas and stuff in there, and micro-vitamins and micro, micros, micronutrients. Vitamins are a separate thing. So, I make that, and then I make a sandwich with cheese, egg, and obviously those sausages in, and then I put the remainder of the egg that's in there into that salad. But, the main reason I was gonna talk to you about what I do is because I'm also having a protein shake. I do this not because I've just been to the gym, because I know that's a big misconception that you need to have a protein shake after the gym. You don't. It is to increase my overall protein. I'm sorry, baby. I know I'm disturbing you. So, because I miss my breakfast, essentially, by not eating it, I find it difficult to cram my protein in, like, throughout the day. So, to make it better, I have a protein shake whilst I'm waiting for my lunch and then I'll have my lunch after it because you need to kind of have like carbs with a protein shake after you've been to the gym. So I'll have the protein shake and then have my lunch. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm getting all mixed up with my timings, so I'll catch up with you once the food's ready. I have had no beef steaks with chips. <laughs> and cheese, beef cheese. <laughs> I'm tracking my calories. Do you know how many calories are in that I though? I could easily find out. But not off by heart? Uh, no, about, about 600. Okay, Jack has a lot more calories than me though. So yeah, I will catch up with you when I've made it. I am done, I have my lunch. Things went a little bit awry, but having to do something a little bit different to normal. I realized that I didn't have my normal burger sauce. Had a little bit of a meltdown. So we're trying something new. I found some garlic, the thing, right, the thing is, at the minute, this meal, I'm kind of on the edge of it being an ick and also, the sausages that I have currently, they're the things that are giving me a little bit of the ick. Like, I normally get the turkey and caramelized red onion ones from Sainsbury's and they are, but I think these are just the normal turkey ones and I'm not, I don't really like them. So with these sausages, this meal is just a little bit like, but with the burger sauce, I can get through it. But, ran out the burger sauce, so, I'm going to try it differently. I have, I found some garlic sauce in the fridge. Not just like an old thing, but like the little packets you can get. I think we get, we got them from Pizza Hut. And I've tried that. So I've got the um, sandwich, which has garlic sauce, cheese, and the sausages in. 
and then I've put all of the egg mayo into the salad so I haven't mixed it yet so it's just on top and then underneath is the salad so got that and then also because I had a little bit of a breakdown I didn't make my protein shake in time so I have my protein shake to drink quickly thought I'd run through the macros of the meal so this is as well right this people are gonna be shocked at the macros of this meal but I just want to clarify this is my biggest meal my teas and stuff aren't as big as this like they're not so this meal has 1022 calories in and protein it has 86 grams of protein in so for the amount of protein that i'm e eating i'm okay with it if we include if we let's let's check how many calories we are on for the day we are on 1164 including the little arrow bar that i had at the beginning of the day because there were only 142 calories so overall that is 1164 calories and we are on 88 grams of protein in terms of other macros we are on 80 grams of carbs and 54 grams of fat so i'm gonna eat this i want to say as well with the tracking i am not tracking to a thing i am making my food like i normally am and then weighing it if that makes sense because that's the whole point of today i'm trying to see how many calories i'm normally eating so that is what is happening now i'm gonna make that i'm gonna eat this and hopefully it tastes okay. Okay, I finished eating. It wasn't the best success. Um, the cheese that I opened was awful, but it doesn't matter. I think the calories are roughly the same in terms of like the um, burger sauce that I normally use. I normally use the Leon burger sauce, the vegan one, and if you haven't tried that, please do yourself a favor and go try that sauce because it is, it is lovely. So, macros are roughly the same so it doesn't really matter i am not gonna eat now today is a little bit of a different day but i think i can make it work normally i will have i won't eat until like five o'clock ish normally about six and i'll have a protein shake and sometimes another chocolate bar but i am off to get my nails done today and my appointment for that is five so i'll not be able to have my protein shake then but i'll probably have it when i get back i'll probably be in there till about six i don't know whether to take it in the car but i don't like a warm protein shake i don't know i'm planning on going like now-ish i'll take it anyway the protein shake that i normally have is the vegan way from the vegan clear way sorry from phd i much prefer the phd one to the my protein one i know if you've watched the supplement haul you'll be sick of me saying the same things but it's a very big overlap the i much prefer the phd one and i have the strawberry one so i have that and yeah that'll be it until tea so i'm gonna head off now and i shall see you later on we are back on phone footage um because i am i'm on the way so i'm on the way i'm out so i finished up at my nail appointment i would show you them but they um they're not going to catch up on camera very well but i have my protein shake with me i did prepare it i'm on my way home now so i'm not gonna have anything to eat with it i'll be drinking it on the way home and then i think i'll have tea when i get home so have this it's 35 grams of vegan whey clear whey and i'm not sure on the macros off by heart but i'll tell you them when i get home I'm back home and going straight into my tea. I haven't been filming any of the tea stuff, but it's pretty much nearly ready. So this is what we are having for tea. We have a half cup of rice, a salmon fillet, some tender stem broccoli and mushrooms. And then in here we have, oh, I need a um, thing, edamame. So I'm gonna put the edamame on. Give me two seconds. Okay, there we go. I normally don't have it all like this. Normally it's more of like a mush, but for the purposes of showing you guys, here we are now we are putting on the best bit the teriyaki sauce we got the one from sainsbury's and it's actually a lot more like of a syrup than a like um like the teriyaki we usually have is more like soy sauce but this is like a proper syrup hang on i'll put it on and i'll show you if i can do it with my left hand yeah like look at it come on so it's more like syrup it's weird um did I, oh i didn't put the on button on Oh. How annoying. Right, hang on, let me weigh it, measure this. Okay, we are in the living room and I am done. It's now all mushed up because to get all the teriyaki sauce on it the way I like it, I have to kind of like mix it all together. So, 
doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm going to show you anyway. So this is kind of more what it looks like. It's more like a stir fry kind of thing um, with the salmon in there and then teriyaki sauce. I ended up putting like 30 grams of teriyaki sauce on. So let's go over the macros very, very quickly for this meal. Turn it this way to look at meal by meal. So in terms of calories, there are 478 calories in this. Protein, I always get confused. Which one is it? Protein, there is 40 grams in this. 29 of it comes from the salmon and then seven of it comes from edamame and then there's like ones like thrown about everywhere. This isn't going to be the last thing I eat though so I will eat this and then catch up with you later and we'll talk through calories and protein and stuff for the entire day. <laughs> oh, he's having a little cameo in the vlog. Uh, right, so now taking supplements, just to recap if you didn't watch last week's time to grow, creatine. Vitamin D, calcium, magnesium, and collagen, and that's Jack's B12, which I don't need to take. So, also, I will be having a Yorkie. Um, I'll get this, I will track it, and we will catch up on how many calories we are on. Right, so I've put, tracked the Yorkie, so we can go through calories and macros for the day. So... <laughs> oh, he's trying to get my attention. Overall calories, we have landed on 1,987. And for protein, hang on, I need to click it. We have landed on 149. So basically, we're on 2,000 calories and 150 grams of protein, which works out quite nicely. I aim for one gram of uh, protein of body weight put in pounds. I'm not entirely sure how much I weigh at the minute, but I know a rough ballpark. So, yeah, it tracks out, I'm pretty sure. Overall, um, I don't think the majority of that will change from day to day. The only thing that would probably change is having a snack with that um, protein shake, which would probably add about 200 calories on, so it would probably make it like 2,200. So, yeah, that is the day of eating. After I finish the Yorkie, I won't eat anything else. I won't have protein or anything. That will be it. So, we are done for the day. I'm sorry about my hair. I did wash my bangs before, but they seem to have gone in a very odd way. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a disclaimer at the end of this, just because I mean that amount of calories does not mean that that is how many calories you should be eating, even if you think you look the same as me, or you think you are the same weight as me, or the same height as me. Doesn't mean anything. This video is purely for inspiration on what to eat. Me finding out how many calories I'm eating, which I'm pretty, like I said, not fussed about. It was just more out of curiosity. Protein is the only thing that I am bothered about currently. So please don't think that that is the right amount of calories for you but please don't eat too little calories please go watch my why you should not be eating 1400 calories video to hear me explain all of that i'll link it above but this is just for inspiration for meals this is kind of a very standard day for me lunch stays the same pretty much every single day tea swaps between that tea a dirty fries kind of thing with like 150 grams worth of chicken in and pizza so it kind of just stays the same every single day unless we go out for food and then it pretty much changes the same apart from that meal. So, please don't take that as that is how you should be eating. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave it a like because it just really supports the channel and really supports these fitnessy videos. And I like doing them. So it would really mean a lot to, really mean a lot to me. Please subscribe if you are new. And thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.